Hello friends, Allie Martin back here Sunrise Saturday with me a very special guest. We have Governor Tate Reeves. Governor, we know you've had a busy uh, few weeks here in Jackson with the water crisis and everything going on. Just tell us how are things going now? Well, thanks for having me on, Allie. Uh, things are, are progressing well. Uh, the way I describe it is we're making progress every day, but no day passes that we make enough progress. Right. Uh, but we, w we really were concerned, and what led to the ultimate decision uh, was the, the likelihood and the probability that unless we took action, then there would be no running water in the entire city of Jackson, a city of 151,000 people. Uh, that was a risk that we just couldn't take. And so um, we came in, well, we went into the plant, uh, we did a significant analysis, um, identified many challenges that needed to be fixed, and started fixing them. Right. And, um, and because of that, we were able to ensure within a week that uh, there was running water through the entire city. We, had, we got our pressures back, our quantity of waters were where they needed to be. And we are uh, headed towards uh, having um, clean water as well, right. um, actually producing clean water for the entire system. And, and I just can't tell you how proud I am of the team from the state that has worked with our federal partners to get this done. Very good. Let's talk about the economy. Uh, we know we're in the middle of a recession nationally. How are things going in uh, Mississippi, and how can we keep you know things going on the right track? Well, we, we are in the midst of a, a recession nationally because of um, the direct policies of the Biden administration. Inflation is at a 40-year high right. in America, um, and we're not uh, able as a state uh, to completely be immune from that. But we, our economy is doing well. We have people working. In fact, we have the, we recently had the lowest unemployment rate in the history of our state. Um, the people who are working are, are uh, making more money by and large because they're, they're getting better paying jobs. And also, uh, we're focused on workforce development, workforce training. We're investing in our people so they can do the jobs of the next 50 years rather than the jobs of the last 50 years. We have midterms coming up. Uh, it's September. Midterms are right around the corner. Uh, what, what are your thoughts? Well, my, my primary thoughts are when when 2020 occurred, I don't I think there's a lot of buyer's remorse out there. The the president has uh, who claimed when he ran in 2020 that he was going to bring the country together and he was going to govern from the middle has gone as far left as he could possibly go. I, I've often joked that the uh, the Democrat Party has moved so far to the left. Uh, in this country that they're going to move the DNC headquarters to somewhere in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That's how far left this president and his administration have taken uh, the Democrat Party. And because of that, there's a lot of buyer's remorse. I think Republicans are going to have an outstanding election cycle right. in 2022. I think we're going to take back the House. I think we have a really good opportunity to take back the United States Senate. Um, and we just got to work really hard over the next couple of months to make sure uh, that we get our candidates across the finish line. It's really important for America that we have uh, people in the Congress that understand that you cannot r give the president a blank checkbook because ultimately right. those bad policies of just sending out money everywhere, ultimately somebody's got to pay for that. And right now it's the American people who are paying for it through inflation because gas is higher, mm -hmm. milk is higher, bread is higher, all groceries are higher at the grocery store, and that's bad for America and it's certainly bad for working Mississippians. The session coming up in January, <laughs> what do you foresee as some, I know you're probably already working on that, what do you foresee as some of the issues? Well, obviously it's an election year right. and anytime you go into an election year, uh, there are a couple of different uh, directions that a session can, can head. Uh, I think we're going to continue to focus on workforce development, workforce training, continue to invest in our people because what we're seeing is th those investments pay tremendous dividends because people that are getting skilled and reskilled and trained and retrained can then go out and get better and higher paying jobs and so I think you're going to definitely see us uh, focus on that we're clearly uh, very proud of the uh, Roe v. Wade decision um, to, that Roe v. Wade was overturned through the Dobbs case uh, but we also have to uh, recognize that that particular decision was never about winning a court case. It was always about creating a culture of life in Mississippi. And so we've been working to uh, develop policies that we're going to propose to the legislature. Both the Senate and the House are working to do the same. And I think we'll come out with a really strong uh, package of, of legislation to get that done um, this year. And, and I think that's something we can all be proud of. Right. That was huge. Are you surprised at the amount of, at the reaction from some over that and the amount of misinformation that uh, 
you know, has, has come down from that. I mean, it, are you surprised at that or were you kind of expecting that? Well, anytime the national media is involved, I expect misinformation. And it, quite frankly, even some of the, of the local media here in, in Jackson, Mississippi, right. you expect uh, misinformation coming from them. Um, but the American people um, are a lot smarter than the politicians think that they are. They understand um, the, the vast majority of Americans uh, believe that there ought to be reasonable restrictions on uh, abortions uh, at, at certain terms during pregnancy. And each individual state now has the ability to define what those reasonable restrictions are. In our state, um, we're going to outlaw abortions because we believe in the sanctity of life. Other states may make other decisions, and that's certainly uh, their prerogative. Right. It goes back to the states. Of course, I want to end on a, a fun note. You know, the reason we came here also was to do uh, Christmas at the mansion. And uh, you're asking people to send in ornaments <laughs> from all around the state. Now, are you going to be helping decorate any of that, or are you going to leave that up to the experts? Well, uh, and first lady? <laughs> they don't let me participate in the decorating. They, they, they have the experts doing that, and the first lady leads, leads that effort. But we do want to remind all of our cities and our counties and our municipalities and, and towns, um, look at your town, decide what you want to do, and, and send us an ornament right. that highlights the cool things going on uh, in your community because really that's what we want to highlight here in, in, in our state. What makes Mississippi so special is our people and the communities in which we live and we want to highlight that point here in Christmas 2022. That's right. I'm going to make a prediction that Tupelo's ornament will have something to do with Elvis. <laughs> you, think that's a, you think that's pretty safe? Well, I think it should, right? <laughs> right. I mean, that's a, uh, particularly with the movie coming out recently yeah. and we're seeing a lot of tourism into uh, the Tupelo area, uh, the birthplace of, of Elvis, but We've just got story after story after right. story that needs to be told, and this is an opportunity to do that. And look, I don't know if you notice this, but this is an Elvis jacket. It's a copy of the one he wore at the wedding. And so you get this at Lansky's, <laughs> so you got, you know, Elvis in there. You pay extra for that, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they won't give me a discount. You're a sharp-dressed man is all I can say, right? <laughs> I remember that song. That's right. Well, Governor, thank you so much for... Um, for being with us on Sunrise Saturday. We know you're busy, you have a lot going on, and we're gonna check in with you when you get back up to Tupelo. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you, and we're gonna be back down here in December to see all the decorations and everything. It'll be fantastic, I have no doubt. Very good. All right, well, don't